Okay, so it's been a few weeks since I've been able to uh, to work on the, the cycle here, and it gave me enough time though to get this old float out of here, and we got the new float in. So now it's the moment of truth. We're gonna turn this baby on. Turn on the key. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Gas yes, gauge is up. If I move the float, this float is working perfectly. So this one, if I move the gas gauge, you can see it's actually functioning appropriately. So let me put the float actually in where it goes and uh, make sure that this thing is successfully working as we think it should be. Like this. Let's wait a minute. There we go. That means it's lined up like it's supposed to line up. There's a little notch. A notch here is supposed to go over top of a small notch down there. Oh, it's all in. And I didn't put this thing on upside down, so hang tight. Okay, just to point something out to you guys. It was not on upside down. This piece right here that I'm taking off right now, this was on this side of, of this which made it look like it was supposed to go down, but that's actually not the way it goes. This, it must've just been the way it was for shipping. This is supposed to go over top of the float and actually help make a seal here when this thing is in the, in the tank. So if you guys ever get one of these, this apparently, once I can get this thing to line up here, this is how this should, should be to make a proper seal in the tank. And then this piece does go on so that the uh, pointy ends are up like this. And then I just gotta make sure it snugs in to place and uh, we get this thing turned and pushed in. So let me use two hands for that because I can't do it with the camera. Another thing to note, uh, if you gotta pay attention more than I did, this is a replacement for one that is already on here. So which is nice because if you happen to lost years or it was a seal that was a problem, you get a new one with the new float kit. And uh, by the way, I'll put all the price in the description. I think it was like $6.99. It's like really cheap. Um, but it can't, you can't put it on with both of them because it just won't fit. So I was trying to force it in there, realize there were still two of them in place. You only want one of these things in place and just one O-ring and that'll, that'll be done the right way. So now let me get it all tightened up. All right, I wanted to give you guys some updates on where I'm at and what I'm doing. I've taken a couple panels off the front because I was trying to determine why this headlight was not working. And uh, by the way, I think in the video I pointed out that I wondered if there was actually turn signals up there. There are. There, there's front turn signals and everything wired in there. They're just not working right now. And I took the light out. I actually wired it directly. I looked at it. It's supposed to be a 12-volt bulb. I wired it directly into the battery. Um, and in one of the positions it works, I have a feeling the bright setting is burned out on it, but it does, the bulb does work uh, for testing. So I've been trying to dig around this thing and find out what's been going on. And I turned randomly, trying to do something else. Um, I had turned on a continuity test with my multimeter. And I apologize, I only have one hand and I can't find the, uh, the tripod that I was using before. So I got my continuity tester out and I was randomly, I was gonna check for voltage in this main connector here against the red and the black. And I accidentally had it on continuity. And I don't know if you heard that before it fell. It's continuity between the red and the black. And it's most likely not good. So I started trying to trace wires down this thing. And I finally traced them back. I couldn't get the body off all the way, but I traced them down to here. And it used to have a cover on it. But I started ripping the cover back because I realized these wires think the reason I'm having a problem is there's a one of the I don't know if they got chewed that it's it's hot or they're melted so I think they got hot and they've many of them have melted together and I'm pretty sure this is the source of my problem right now with the electrical um, and it's interesting too because I didn't have this problem before when I was uh, working on this I can't even get it to uh keys got keys on yeah I can't even get it to try to tick over anymore um, and I'm sure that's because I've been pulling up these wires and I probably disconnected something in the in the wiring harness uh, but when I was trying to run it a minute ago it would run and sputter and die run and sputter and die and I couldn't get it to be consistently running and I wonder if something happened since it's been sitting here um, 
I don't know if an animal got to it or if it just literally got so hot they melted. I can't imagine just sitting here that they would have gotten so hot they melted. Um, it very well could have been like this the whole time. I never actually looked at the wiring harness. Or it could be something that just happened now. So I'm going to see what I can do about this. I don't know if I can put some wires, splice some wires in and fix it. Or if I'd be better off to try to find how to purchase an entire wiring harness for this vehicle. It might not be too bad if I can find one for a good price to just rewire the whole, like run a brand new wiring harness for this thing. Um, but I'm curious if I can get this thing just up and running the way it is with headlights and everything. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys. So electrical issues aside, which I haven't quite figured everything out, uh, out yet. I did pull a bunch of stuff out. I got to, you know, the CDI module and all that. It looks like uh, I'm running a temporary wire to test some things. Um, it looks like this green wire is the ground wire. It just basically disintegrated in this wiring harness. And it looks to be like the only wire that seems to have taken a lot of damage. This one right here is taken a little bit. But everything else seems to be intact. I don't know what happened to that wire. Still can't get any, make any progress on the lights yet. We'll continue to work on that. The problem I'm running into now is... Oops, the panel fell off. Let's see. You'll see in a minute. Hold on. I am... See, I'm running. It won't idle anymore. It just bogs down. If I really crank the handle, it bogs down as well. Um, not sure what's going on. Let's see how long it runs for here. And it's, it's sputtering. It's about to die. Yeah, and it's just, it's dying on me. And I, it wasn't doing that when I first got it fixed. I don't know what the problem could be. Could be a couple things from what I'm told. What I'm gonna do is get a carb right here. And they're actually not expensive. They're only like $18.99 or something like that online. But I'm gonna see if I can pull this carb out and service it, because the jets might've gotten clogged in it. I've never serviced a carb before in my life, but we're gonna go for it anyway and see. Uh, I was told in some of these models though, you can't open the bottom of the carb where the float is and everything. So I gotta pay, take it out of here to find out if I can open it or not. Um, or if I just have to buy a new one because they say they're non-serviceable versus serviceable ones. So we'll find out. So hang tight. So here's the carb. Unfortunately, as I was informed online, it is not serviceable. Um, that is it upside down. This, this, and this are supposed to be the uh, screws that you're able to remove, but they basically are just pressed in there. Uh, there's no screws to be able to remove to get this piece off to go check the jet. So, I mean, they're gonna have to uh, like soak this thing in like brake cleaner or something like that, or purchase a new one. Um, because I can't get in there to find out. And it's a shame because I'm not sure that the carbs, what's the problem is. I'm just taking a guess at it and I don't really want to spend money in something that I don't even know if that's the problem or not. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to do next, especially considering I still need to get the lights working. All right, so amongst other things, new carburetor has arrived. And as you can see, this one's got some screws in those spots that otherwise make the other one so you can't service it. So time to replace that with this and we will see if that makes any difference to the current problem we're having. Okay, so new carb has been swapped. Uh, I had to swap the uh, accelerator cable, um, the drain plug as well, or the drain port or whatever it is. Got all the hoses back to where they go. I've got it plugged in to power. Now, moment of truth on this thing here. And if the carb was actually the problem, I think my battery has died. Um, so nice thing is I installed the kickstart in here and I can kickstart this vehicle. So let's see what happens. Might take a minute. Hang tight.
Well then. I'm trying to hold the throttle in just one place and maybe I just need to adjust the idle of the throttle without kicking in, into gear. But literally if I hold if I hold this in one place, it seems to run fine for a minute and then it just kicks up. And I'm, I'm not even moving it. Look. I'm not I'm gonna back off of it. Huh. I just, I don't know about this one. So the problem is right when I got this thing up and running again for the first time, I didn't seem to have this issue. Doesn't seem like it was a carb problem because brand new carburetor. Well, let's look, let's work on some other things here. So I did notice See if I can get this thing to set up here. I did notice that these tail lights, I put a, uh, or the headlights, turn signals, excuse me, were actually getting a voltage. And I checked both the bolts. Both turn signals were blown. I find that strange that both front turn signals were blown, but that seems to be the case. So I now have new turn signal bolts right here. So we're gonna try to put these in, see if that works. I also want a new headlamp bulb just in case, even though that one does not seem to be getting power appropriately. In case that was the issue, so let's go. Look at that. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. So the turn signals. <laughs> the, the turn signals were that easy to fix. Um, no, turn signals were that easy. Um, I do notice... Oh, it died. You notice the turn signals on. You know, I had that indicator light, but I don't have the one for the left. Somebody told me it might be because it was dead, but uh, the bulb was out. But clearly it's not still working, even though the ball's in there now. But look at the, the backlight. The black display it flashes it's not obviously not getting a nice consistent power source that it wants so so i don't know about that but let's uh kick this thing off and let's replace the headlight just to see if that fixes that problem as well so now this is odd when i have my brights position on nothing happens to the bolt when i turn that off I actually have a headlamp. Um, not. I am not sure why that would be. Clearly, something's wrong with the brights. Um, and that's a brand new bulb. Uh, but maybe that explains why the other one wasn't working. So, besides. Besides the brights on this thing, lights seem to be taken care of now. The problem is, it's about to stall out. And being that I've changed the carb, I'm not sure what else it could be. And I know a lot of people talk about changing the, uh, or checking the valves in this. So I've watched a couple of videos and checking the valves, which involves taking this whole assembly apart and getting little shims that have three thousandths and four thousandths of you know inches or millimeters or whatever the hell they are i don't know and making sure your valves are adjusted appropriately um that looks like a little bit more intense of a job than i 
know how to do and I was hoping all this other stuff would have fixed our problem. Um, I don't know though. I'm so just an update here. As you can hear, this thing is running. Um, it's not running great. There seems to be, well, I didn't know that this was a, this, thing off. this is apparently an idle adjust screw. Um, so I can adjust it and have it idle a little bit higher without messing with, you know, this piece of it right here, which seems to work out okay, but it's very inconsistent. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me start it up. Starts up just fine where I have it all adjusted to. Seems like it was when I originally got it running, which is great, except for if I crank the throttle and let it go, it'll still bog down. The light gets really, really dim. It may or may not cut out. Right now it's running, but it's running very, very you know, it, it's about to it's about to cut out. I can pick it back up by giving it a little bit of a little bit of throttle, which is you know probably something I can deal with. I don't plan on taking this thing very far. Um, if it needs to, if it cuts out, I mean, I need to start it back up and get going again. I mean, that's that's what I need to do. I'd rather get it fixed. I don't know what it is. Um, sometimes too, just sitting here, and I wish it would do it. You'll see that it'll idle really high and then hover idling high for a while and then go back down and. Maybe you'll momentarily see it, like it'll idle high enough that the wheel starts spinning. Um, waiting for it to, I can hear it picking up a little bit, but not too much. But since I've been sitting here messing with this, it's done that a couple times. It'll idle really high, wheel starts spinning just on its own. And then, here it goes, here it goes. I'm not touching, I'm not touching, not touching anything. You can hear it getting, getting faster. Not fast enough for the wheel starts spinning yet. But it keeps doing this, and it'll cut back down. And, I don't know, I just wish I knew what it was. I mean, it runs, though. <laughs> I haven't yet even taken this thing on the road. But I uh, want to get some of this stuff done. So basically, I figure at this point, they got the lights working, except for, you know, I said the brights, when I turn the brights on, that doesn't work. Light itself works, all the turn signals work now. I just need to run that new ground wire, um, cut out this ground wire, run a new green down into the wiring harness, down to where it was all destroyed, and connect it back up into well, somewhere back here, into here where the ground actually connects, and uh, replace all those green wires. And I'll run a new ground, put this thing all back together, and give it a test drive on the road, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Time to fix this green wire. What I am going to do is I have purchased a bunch of a bunch of wires. I got a nice green one here uh, so it can match. I brought out my soldering station uh, with my heat gun. I've got some shrink wrap. I got some, you know, wire snips. Everything I'm going to need to try to replace this wire. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start running the wire now. Hopefully... I can get the wiring harness bundled back up and start putting these panels on because these panels right now are making it look like a not finished bicycle and uh, I want it to be, I want it to be done. So let's go. Why is that freaking annoying? Look at this. Bee started flying around here and decided that uh, my coffee was where he was going. So now my uh, coffee is useless, but what are you going to do? Well, so that's annoying. The bulb was like jammed up in there. I don't know. It was sitting out in the rain um, without the cover on. So it was very possible. It just got water in there and it got rusted, but uh, it got jammed up in there so hard it wouldn't twist. And when I finally did get it to twist, it broke the bulb. I don't know if that's why it's not working or if it's, you know, coincidence that this also happened and then it, you know, stopped working as well. But it looks like I'm gonna have to order another new bulb, but the turn signal still work fine. So I'm gonna get everything else put back together except for the, um, the headlight and all the panels back on and see how this thing does.
So, I uh, realize I really am almost out of fuel. Uh, so I do think that my float is working just fine. As you can see when I turn this, if I move the float all the way up, I do have a full tank of gas. Um, I do think it was just too low uh, to the point where the new float was not hitting the, uh, the fuel. So I think that part's gonna actually work just fine. The concern that I have is you'll see I have blue towels stuffed in here. I looked in there and it was able to get a really good shot. And if you'll notice, this is what the fuel looks like. There is just floating, I don't know if it's rust or what, but it looks disgusting. Uh, so basically, and this is pretty much all the fuel I got in there besides what I spilled on the ground because, you know, I made kind of a kind of mess. And I believe this is the fuel, the, the fuel filter. Um, it was also filled with, with rust. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is purchase another fuel filter. They're cheap. And trying to clean out all the rust that I saw floating around in the bottom of the fuel tank is what this is for. This very well could be the reason why this hasn't been running very well. Uh, so I'm going to work on that, get the uh, finish getting all the panels put back on, and then hopefully just be stuck with dealing with this. And since I have to buy the new light bulb anyway for the front, I'll probably order the uh, fuel filter and see if that can make any difference. Well, here we go. It is all back together. It looks good again, besides this piece uh, right here. It's still actually a part. Uh, it needs a little dry. I got a little wet in there, um, but I need to get the, the new light bulb anyway. So I'll let that sit out in the sun. But hey, this thing looks good. You can put the seat back in. Uh, if only it ran well. That would be, that would be ideal, huh? If only it ran well. Um, but give it some time, maybe, if I get that new, the new fuel filter. And I cleaned out the fuel tank as much as I possibly could. And I don't know if it's going to be good enough or not, but hopefully it is. I, um, you know, shoved the towels down there, moved them around with a, you know, a long handle stick and everything and got as much rust out as I possibly could. So when I get those pieces in, after I order them, a light and a fuel filter will fill it back up and see what happens.